welcome to another episode of Sports Rambling The Attic, where I dig through shoe boxes and cardboard boxes up in my attic of uh, baseball cards and memorabilia and anything else, books, stuff like that, that I can add to my collection or that I can share with you guys. So today we're going to open up a couple packs of baseball cards. We've got two packs of 1986 Topps baseball. Um, just a little bit of a story behind these cards. Uh, this is just about the time when Topps started flooding the market with baseball cards. So value is, you know, there's some value in, in, in these these cards and I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. But um, this is about, I'm sitting at about 13 years old, uh, really the height of me collecting cards. Uh, when this set initially came out, I wasn't a huge fan of the design. It's got the black border on the top with the team name and then the player's name at the bottom and a, and a picture in the middle. Um, they're nice cards. They, it, was a, it was a cool set at the time. Like I said, it wasn't a huge fan of it, but over the years I've started to like this set of cards a little bit more. Um, the reason the, the, that you'll find some value on some cards in this set is that they're scarce to find certain players in, in PSA 10 condition. Uh, guys like Eric Davis, Nolan Ryan, Pete Rose, Andre Dawson, George Brett, their, their cards are hard to find in perfect condition because of that black border along the top. That border um, can lead itself, lend itself to um, uh, dings and uh, you know just imperfections that show up little little creases or whatever um, so you know what let's go ahead and get into these two packs of cards let's see the gums rattling around so no gum isn't stuck to any of the cards so uh, let's see what we got in uh, 1986 tops baseball wax pack Some ancient gum for you kids. Uh, let's see here. We'll take out this insert card. Spring Fever Baseball. Win a trip to the 1987 spring training camp of the team of your choice. So if you, any of you have the DeLorean from Back to the Future, you can just hit me up. I'll send you this and maybe you'll win and get to go see your team in 1987. Uh, so we've got... Cubs pitcher Larry Sorensen. We have, well, here's a, a Hall of Famer. That's a pretty nice looking card. So we'll put the, the ones on the left of uh, some pretty, you know, cooler cards that I like. That's Angels outfielder designated hitter, uh, Reggie Jackson. Astros first baseman, Harry Spillman. Brewers pitcher, the other Bob Gibson. Not quite the Hall of Famer from the uh, Cardinals. Um, Cubs second baseman and outfielder, Davey Lopes, made his name as a Dodger back in the day. Uh, this is a player I always liked. He had a short career, but he was pretty productive before injuries took him out. And that's uh, Mariners first baseman, Alvin Davis. Orioles pitcher, Mike Boddicker. Mariners pitcher, Brian Snyder. Angels pitcher, I saw him pitch a lot in person, Jeff Zahn. Uh, Giants manager, um, this manager really oversaw the uh, comeback of the Giants in the mid 80s where they eventually got to the World Series and then in 1989, um, they made it into the playoffs in 87 under him. That's uh, manager Roger Craig. Yankees pitcher Joe Cali. Blue Jays manager at the time before he went and was the manager of the pretty much National League Dynasty Braves, that's uh, Bobby Cox. Twins pitcher John Butcher. Dodgers outfielder Terry Whitfield. And Giants first baseman Dan Dreesen. So there's the first pack of 1986 tops. 
Uh, none of the cards in there are the ones that uh, are going to bring you any of that value for uh, being a card that's hard to find. Um, so let's get into this second pack. Let's put the uh, broken pieces of piece of gum aside. Uh, second chance to go see your team in the DeLorean. We've got A's pitcher Steve McCaddy. We have got Dodgers catcher Steve Yeager. Um, Steve Yeager is also the third base coach in the movie Major League. Oh, here's a, a decent record breaker card. This is 1985 record breaker, youngest 20 game winner, winner in modern history, and that is Mets pitcher Dwight Gooden. That's one of my favorite players to collect cards from that era, so that's pretty cool. Here's a miscut of Mets pitcher Bob Berenny. You can see the cut was pretty terrible on that one. The Blue Jays leaders card. Mariners pitcher Bill Swift. He ended up uh, getting traded to the Giants and became a 20 game winner over there. Yankees infielder Andre Robertson. Phillies catcher Ozzy Virgil. Dodgers relief pitcher Bobby Castillo. Talked about him before on my shows. I got to meet him a couple times at my family's golf tournament. Um, really nice guy. Uh, passed away a couple years ago from cancer. RIP Bobby. Astros infielder Jim Pankovitz. Rangers manager, one of the characters of baseball. Uh, Bobby Valentine. Here's one that I'll add to my collection because it is of my second favorite or third favorite in my top three. Um, players of all time. Padres outfielder Tony Gwynn, one of the all-time good guys in Major League Baseball history right there. Um, Twins shortstop Roy Smalley. And Hall of Famer Brewers closer uh, Raleigh Fingers, the man with the handlebar mustache. So there you have it, folks. Um, I got a few cards that I will add to my collection of, uh, of uh, players that I like, and that's uh, Dwight Gooden and um, Tony Gwynn and Angels outfielder Mr. October Reggie Jackson. So I really appreciate all the support, everybody. Anybody stopping in to watch these shows, um, I will hit you next week. You can look for a Throwback Thursday opening of packs of cards every Thursday on Sports Rambling. So anyway, have a great day.